What's up guys this is Hardik here so today with me i have a google pixel 2 xl running on the latest android version android r so this is basically a developer preview which is basically only for developers to test their apps and stuff so this is not for common people who use their phone as their daily drivers so i have uh, an iphone that i use as a daily driver so this is just a test device that i have with me so i decided to put it on my pixel itself so yeah this is the android 11 uh the build number is rpp2 and the security patch level is march 5th which is the latest again and the google play system update is january 1 so this is basically the developer preview and i'll be showing you guys what all are the new features and stuff like that in this preview itself the first thing you notice is when you swipe down the notification panel or the quick toggle menu is that you get all the notifications grouped into different sections so basically you have the alerting notifications you have the silent notification at the bottom if you have any and there is this conversation notification at the top so there these are the three basic tags that you get and there is a huge gap that differentiates or that separates basically the notifications that you get on your device so this is the very first update that you'll notice the second one as you can see here is called history so if you miss any of the notification history you'll get it right at the history tab itself so as you can see i had the finishing system update i had the checking for voice mails i had the updating or your google or gboard up so these were the notifications that i had in my menu itself so you also have the option to turn on or off the notification history i'd say turn it on because if you miss any of the notifications you'll get it right on your device itself so the second feature is if you go into your settings if you go into notifications you now have the option to basically silence the silent notification as you can see you have the hide silent notification in status bar so if you just tap this you will not get any of the silent notifications in the notification bar itself all other notifications will be available it's just that the silent notifications won't be displayed on your panel itself so the next thing involves going to developer options so to enable developer options go into your about phone then tap on your build number for seven times until you become a developer go back into system and you will get the option right over here so when you enable the developer option if you scroll down if you go to display cutout you will see a punch hole cutout as well so as you can see on the top left you get the punch hole cutout itself and you have many options right here so if you select the the tall cutout you'll get that as well so that there we go then you have another option called waterfall cutout so this basically means that uh, the devices that have a lot of curve on the edges you'll get a cutout for that so you can hide the edges of your screen just like you had on the Samsung Galaxy S9 S10 and stuff like that so there you had a deep edge on the bottom so that is called waterfall then you have the double cutout and others are just all the basic cutouts that you get so only the new one added is the punch hole cutout and that's all so going back into the uh, developer options itself if i just search for angles there you go so this is basically angle preference which means if you have a foldable screen or foldable phone it will basically tell you what angle the second display is so if you have a galaxy z fold it will basically tell you what angle the fold is basically that's all that is <laughs> that is pretty much it for the angle preference so another thing in developer options is that if you go down here you had the usb debugging option right over here so now you have another option called wireless debugging which basically lets you debug your phone wirelessly on your network so there you can see you have pet devices uh, so this is the web flash station which is basically the tool that i flashed my android 11 preview itself so that is that and yeah basically wireless debugging is pretty self explanatory you'll get a debugging through wireless or like yeah that is that is pretty much it so now if you go to the home screen another thing i'll show you is the ui changed in styles and wallpapers so there you can see you have a new ui for this particular menu itself so as you can see this is a new ui basically and you get your wallpaper at the at the top right over here and you get all the other options in the bottom itself so as you can see that is there so you get another new option is to customize your clock so right now by default there's only one default one right over here but as i guess in the future they're going to add 
a lot more customizability to the lock screen clock itself then you have the styles which is basically the same as it was but the only thing changes is the wallpaper and a new clock option right over there and the last new ui feature that everyone was waiting for is the new screen recorder so this screen recorder was also present on the previous build as well but there's a new ui change if you just tap on the screen recording option right over here you will get a new ui basically which will enable you to record audio show touches and stuff like that so this is basically a very very much changed ui and uh, you'll get your audio as well which was missing from the previous build and also you'll get to show your touches so if i just start right over here you'll see you have uh, the option or you have the basically or you basically have a indicator right on the status bar itself to tell you guys that the recording is started and yeah you'll get your touches and stuff like that also it is much smoother than it was present on the previous build so you can basically either hit here and stop it or you can basically just scroll down and tap to stop it so that is pretty much it your recording is been saved to your phone itself so there are other couple of minor fixes that a pixel device has got for example pixel 4 now basically has the you require your eyes open for your phone to be unlocked and stuff like that so pixel 4 got that as well all the other features i'll be linking in the description down below if i missed any but yeah this was pretty much it this is the android 11 developer preview number two and yeah if you think or if you know any other feature that i missed do let me know in the comment section down below and yeah that is pretty much it guys thank you for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and more videos will be coming soon on this channel soon but yeah for now that is pretty much it thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one